All right, Janice, 1035. Uh, you know, I was just staring down that calendar and uh, two weeks from tomorrow, folks. Unfortunately, that is going to be the start of meteorological fall. I say unfortunately, a lot of people like fall, but uh, you know what fall means? It means winter is right behind it. I'm trying to fight it off as long as possible. So, uh, yeah, when you're in August, August 17th, you know, everything's just great, fine and dandy. And then all of a sudden you turn into September and it's like, where did it come from? Well, just keep in mind, two weeks from tomorrow, September 1st, we've got clear skies. Uh, in some cases, maybe partly cloudy skies, but uh, based on that infrared satellite imagery, not many clouds out there at the current time. It'll be partly sunny, though, I think by 7 a.m., a few clouds building in the overnight to some degree at least. And I think the way to describe it tomorrow is partly sunny. That means that, uh, yes, we're going to have some sun but also clouds are going to be mixed in there. Humidity picks it up another notch. So today we got into the upper 60s with the dew points. You could feel a noticeable increase. There's no doubt about that. Ever since this morning, we go up another notch tomorrow. Call it 80 at midday. We topped out at 82 here in Grand Rapids on Tuesday, call it 84, perhaps 85 tomorrow. It is going to be noticeably warmer, not just the humidity, but the mercury and winds non-existent. Doesn't even matter the direction tomorrow because they're only around five miles per hour. Humidity stays on the high side through when? Through Saturday, folks, even when it comes down a little bit on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday, it's not coming way down. So get ready for a stretch here where it will be sticky. But as I said, I guess my the implication coming from what I was describing earlier, I guess I'd prefer that, right? Because I don't want, uh, you know, winter to come. So, yeah, we're going to keep it warm uh, over the next seven to ten days. Only isolated PM activity. That means a shower. Could pop tomorrow, could pop Thursday afternoon and Friday afternoon. But uh, as I mentioned on the 6 o'clock show earlier, if you're betting money on it, you're betting you're staying dry in any given one location tomorrow. I mean, we're talking a 10%, 15% chance of it. We'll see if a darker cloud comes upon you and drops a little bit of a shower there in the afternoon. Probably not, though. Decent weekend weather expected. Having said that, it doesn't mean it's going to be completely rain free. But right now it stands as though the rain that comes in is going to be good timing. I would think after 7, 8 o'clock on Saturday night, going into the early overnights out of here by Sunday. So net result, much of Saturday dry, much of Sunday dry. These are the daytime highs tomorrow. We're getting into the mid 80s and that lightning strike. If you saw it in the icon, yeah, it's possible if we do flare a shower tomorrow, there's enough instability that it could in fact be a thunder shower, but uh, it's just not going to be much in terms of the coverage. Most of us stay dry for Wednesday. Most stay dry Thursday and Friday. Temperatures getting into the middle 80s at that time. Now this cold front that does arrive Saturday evening into the overnight, that's the one that brings in the better chance for some area wide showers, perhaps thunderstorms. Right now I'm not looking at severe weather at any point over the next seven days. That cold front knocks us down to 81 on Sunday and then starting to recharge again with these temperatures into the middle of next week. Current observations on the board running in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, 73 at last check in GR and pretty warm over towards Holland as well. Southward to Kalamazoo sitting at 74 at the airport there as well as Battle Creek. Now look across the Midwest, this warm pocket of air. It just doesn't want to move over the Dakotas. Still running in the upper 80s to lower 90s where they got into the mid 100s today. Some cooler air though representing across central and northern Canada. Cooler than we've seen in quite some time. Look at this 30s knocking on the door there in Alaska. So you get into late uh, August and September and certainly cooler temps do show up in Canada and eventually that uh, rolls down in here more so late September into October. But uh, we'll see how this pattern plays out. It's going to be humid. This is the red line where the dew points are going to be going. I got it flat line because they're really going to be changing. It's just around 70 with the dew points. It'll be humid the next several days. Satellite imagery has uh, tropical depression Fred moving up the Appalachian chain, but that's too far off to the east to affect us. Watch the Euro model now keeps that moisture away from us, but uh, the afternoon hours tomorrow could pop a shower again. 10 15% chance. That's not much. Do the mathematics. You're probably staying dry. Same deal on Thursday. Same deal on Friday. Now, why are we popping a shower? Well, there's a little low pressure up above in the atmosphere, but it's not very significant rain amounts. Those look, you know, kind of eye opening based on what I'm saying, but that's mainly later Saturday. Aaron and Janice, so we'll focus Saturday night. Best chance for showers. Temperatures running pretty warm, but not record breaking here. Certainly mid 80s and then a little cooler Sunday before it gets warmer again next week. All right, Anthony, thank you. Republican Texas.